Hello my croutons and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you how to create a fast travel like item in RPG Maker MV. Now this is very easy to create, I've already set it up here, and I'm going to go hop into the game now and show you what you'll be creating. So I've just set up a little world here and we're going to head on over to this chest. We're going to find the fast travel item. Now, if I go into my item menu and go to the key items, you'll see fast travel. You can put it in any of these slots. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, and then I can either go to area one or area two. Now, if I try to go area two, you haven't been to that area. So you can only go to areas that you have already been to. Now, if I go back here and I try to go to area one, it'll bring me to the start of this area. Now, let's say I go over here into area two and then back to area one or something. And I'm on like an adventure and I get lost in the forest. And I'm like, oh no, I need to get back to town. You can use this, and now you can go to area two. Now, this is very simple. You can probably make it more polished than I have it here. Um, and let's just jump back into the programming so I can show you what you got to do. So to create this fast travel item, you're going to want to do a couple of things. The first thing you want to do is you're want is you're going to want to create an auto run event or a parallel event, depending on you know if this is a town and it has a bunch of auto run or something. Uh, it really depends on the situation. Um, now I ignore these two things. I just kind of wanted to make the world fit prettier for you guys. Um, but these are the two things that you need to pay attention to. So you're going to want to have. Um, a control switches and it's going to want to control just you know whatever switch it doesn't matter which number or anything um, and you're going to have to set that switch to on and then you know control self switch a to turn this off and you're going to put one of these in each area each controlling a different switch then you're going to come over to settings go to the common events tab and create a fast travel event now you're going to have a show choices um, and you can get more choices if you do the hi me more choices plugin um, you can download that I'll put the link in the description um, and that'll let you use uh, or let you have more choices, uh, but I don't need that. I just have the default six uh, put the names of each area or each location here um, And then continue on now in the first choice or in you know, whichever choice you, you're gonna want to create a conditional branch that activates on the switch that we already created so it activates on you know the switch that corresponds to the area so for example switch area one is on and then also create an else branch now, if switch if area one switches on, then it will transfer player to the beginning of area one. Um, and if it is not on, then it will show text saying you haven't been to that area. Then you're going to just repeat this for each area or each location over and over and over. Now you're going to want to go over to your items tab and create a fast travel item. Um, make sure it is only a menu screen and it is not consumable. The rest doesn't really matter. Um, you can set this to different locations. I have it as key item because I just figured that kind of you know, makes sense. You know, name, description, just whatever doesn't necessarily matter here. As long as it gets the point across that it's a fast travel item. The main important part is the effects. Common event. You're going to want to activate your fast travel common event. And then you are done. Uh, you just put it in a chest or have the player receive it in some way or form. And then boom, you can uh, fast travel to locations. So, yeah, guys, I hope this video helped you. Um, if it did, please leave a comment below saying thank you or saying this helped me. And, I'll, yeah, I will see you in the next video, croutons.